just managed to chop through there, that's quite useful. You could almost say that Red needs to try and sling uh, Yellow quite a bit. A monkey is ready to heal, but it could do some healing itself. Plenty of war elephants, but they're not going to do a good job against that. Bomber tower is not going to go down, I don't think. Nope. And war elephants there, but the halberdiers are going to do a good job against the war elephants. They can do quite a lot of damage, even though they might go down quickly themselves. Like, uh, three hits, I believe. Uh, I think it's 60 hit points they have. Yeah, 60 hit points. So yeah, three hits will probably kill a halberdier, but they'll be able to take down probably at least 100 health of the war elephants. Probably 200, actually, for that matter. Not sure what these two trebuchets are doing. You could probably start attacking something. But that bomber tower is now going to go down. There we go. Trebuchets could attack the siege workshop while you're at it. And a good push in from yellow here. We've got a couple of bombard towers coming up here. And they're getting rid of some of these dogs. And red was able to get rid of some of the cannon galleons. But you can see some... Uh, there's a cannon galleon in here somewhere. There we go, uh, there's one. And so that's going to get rid of these bombard towers. It's got one extra range. So down goes that dock in one more hit, but these trebuchets and war elephants doing a good job of pushing their way through and trying to get rid of this. I believe this is where the majority of the attack is coming from in terms of green. That. But if I stay on one of these elite war elephants, you can see how much the health is going down by from the halberdiers and it's usually doing a big job. Halberdiers coming in here to try and get rid of this, uh, try and get rid of these siege rams but these conquistadors are going to try and get rid of the halberdiers instead. A hit from a trebuchet and another hit and a couple more, well no two, three more, oh no you've got the siege ram on so that will go down. You could really need to get rid of those halberdiers, they're doing so much more damage than the war elephants are doing. But you can see that one's on port, well, not anymore. Um, but you, blue and green have realised that you get um, yellow and red are coming in with war elephants and paladins and conquistadors. And so they're just going to continue bringing in halberdiers, which are so much cheaper, but also a lot easier to create. They're quicker to create. Plenty more buildings being created here. And what would be best against Halberdiers? I mean, really, another um, infantry or archer unit would be good against Halberdiers. It's going to be one of these long, constant battles, and it's only until someone either pushes enough or suddenly makes a breakthrough that it's going to be near the end. I mean, this is one type of breakthrough. Trying to break through that that all oh, oh. interesting. Got rid of some of this wall here uh, from of trees, and it's going to bring in these paladins. And well, I'll just leave the camera over these trade carts and these paladins, and I'll leave you to guess what's going to happen. But I, oh, there we go. Yep. So um, yeah. Not much can be done to stop those paladins. Plenty more, uh, well, a few more paladins coming in, but I can't see any military. Red and yellow really going to suffer as as a result. Keeping villagers occupied. That villager has actually got herself trapped in that little gap there. Paladins and albers, albers coming back. What's happening here? These workshop gone down. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, this. One more hit. Yeah, quite a few uh, dead trade carts around. War Elephant coming in, I saw a Paladin coming in. But it's unfortunately not going to be enough. If you attack the enemy's trade cart route and you do a decent job, then you have won the game. Especially as any, uh, enemy, uh, any armies that are out there in the enemy's base, if they try to come back, and defeat the, the people that are getting the trade card route. Then it leaves them all exposed in many different directions. 
and this was that breakthrough that I was talking about. You've got Cat Ram here and the Siege um, Siege Ram here. The Siege Rams are going to try and get rid of these Bombard Towers, but they're not going to do a great job because Bombard Towers against Siege Rams and Paladin as well. Yeah. Lots of trade uh, Halberdiers. I wonder whether Halberdiers actually have a, an attack bonus against trade cards. It would be quite interesting if they do. Galleon's here taking out some Conquistadors and we're just continuing to see all these Halberdiers take down plenty of War Elephants. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually win. But you can see that just shoots down in health. And yeah, one War Elephant left here, maybe one up here, which will go down very easily. And you've got a bunch of War Elephants here, which will, which will try to uh, do some damage, but against a bunch of Halberdiers, no. The majority of the attack has been down at these two places. A bit of an attack here, you can, well, you can see that Captain Ram going in, but not much at all on this part here. I mean, if Red was to suddenly push through with a whole bunch of Conquistadors, they take out... I'm sure they can get through there somehow. I think there's a gap where that Siege Ram used to be. They can come in here and, well, just look at this bounty that they'd get. Managed to push through a bit here. This stable is going to go down, and I believe... Yep, there we go. That's down as well. Yellow really wants to try and get through here. If he can get through here, he's got into the economy side of green, and that would really help him out. No more trade car attacking, I believe. Yellow and red might have more. No, actually, but I think green and blue have more trade cards out. Yeah, oh dear. Deary me. Uh, fortunately, Conquistador's coming up. They would take out the Halberdiers fairly easily. They're the ones that are going to do more damage, not the Paladins. I mean, that's something I should actually look at. See how much attack a Halberdier does against a uh, War Elephant. Actually, convert to the War Elephant. <laughs> And fortunately, the Conquistadors have really helped. Managed to push, push back a bit. That monk is dead. But these Galleons are going to slightly hurt people here. What have we got coming on here? We've got a Siege Workshop, but plenty of Siege Rams here. The Siege Rams, I think, are going to get through. An outpost going up just to see what's beyond. Uh, yeah, you can see all through there. No one's picked up um, too many relics, I don't think. And there's one here. Oh, I, I guess. I guess they have, actually. That siege ram is just playing bait. Oh, too quick to get rid of the siege on a go. One more hit. Come on, come on. One more hit. One more hit. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, no, that siege on a is going to do a good job against it. Anyway, what's happening over here? We have this here. That Siege Onyx is going to take out quite a few of its own Halberdiers. Ooh, took out far too many of its own Halberdiers. That's a fortunate thing for uh, Yellow, I guess. But two War Elephants, War Elephants here. I wonder if um, he's got... There's a castle. He's yet to get Mahouts. Oh no, it doesn't actually say what um, they've researched, unfortunately. Yeah, I thought, um, if I wonder if they get Mahouts, because Mahouts would be quite useful um, as Persians, but well, it don't need to really be for the Persians, because it increased the war element speed by 30%. And that can actually be really useful, because if you think about it, War Elephants are really slow, so any increase in speed is going to be good. I see something happening, oh no, it's just a bunch of Paladins working their way through here. Quickly get rid of these Monks, that would be great. Uh, I like to look out for all these Bell Ringing, because that's usually a somewhere interesting. Villager coming down to here. 
how are these UTRAMs doing? Doing alright actually. Village are trying to repair it but it's not going to work. If you can quickly work your way through and get rid of things there, that would be great. That's going to be a 2 for 2. Villager walling them in, I think. So that's Yijon is going to get rid of these anyway. That's Yijon is trying to get rid of that villager. Not if it's doing help. Here we go, that will help out, but there's going to be a bit of protection from here. Paladins now. Needs more armor up, um, attack upgrade, but conquistadors get rid of that. That would be great. Siege rams here could do something useful, and we've got siege onagers. Now, what I want to see happen is see siege onagers attack here and kill its own people, but not the conquistadors and paladins. It's gonna kill a couple of conquistadors, but oh well. And finally, oh, they're through, they're through. Quickly get rid of the siege workshop. If you can quickly get through and attack any paladins that come down, then you're in luck. Plenty of more paladins and war elephants coming through. Oh, ah, that's quite interesting. Yeah, this is more like it. Oh yeah, they've got moots now. That's definitely a lot quicker than it was before. But plenty of conversions here from... Oh, you took out your own war elephant. That's hilarious. Quite a few conversions actually from blue, but yellow has managed to come into the base here a bit. But these halberdiers, they're going to eventually take out the siege rams. They could have... Yeah, they've got 10 attacks, so they're going to do a fairly decent job. Unfortunately, yellow came in with a whole bunch of war elephants. You can see them lying down there. But green and blue came in with halberdiers, so they did a much better job. Now, these heavy scorpions are going to do fairly well against all these halberdiers, but not so great against the siege onagers. They're just pretty much going down so easily, and that one's gone down. It's so unfortunate, if the siege onagers weren't there, like now, then the heavy scorpions would have had a much better chance. Three paladins rushing through, they can probably get through and just do a bit of damage here actually. Probably could do, probably needs to be a bit more of that happening. You can't really do that down here because it's protected a bit, although green, yellow has left the space open, he needs to do something about that. A wall coming up here, so probably a wall needs to or all siege rams going in, or probably a wall come down here for yellow because that would be quite useful. Pushed back quite a bit, that siege ram's going to go, might not even do any damage. Nope. War elephant is going to go, and especially if that halberdier gets in, yeah, it's just unfortunately going to go down. So it's been quite a big sort of one side to push, and then another side to push, and then another side to push, and then another side to push, and another side to push. but. Oh, surely you can't be outrun by a... Yes, got one. Uh, two halberdiers, they would easily sort out a paladin. But if they can get to it, actually. Right, what's happening here? We've got paladins. Oh, quickly get rid of that. Oh, you just managed to get it. But lots of... Yeah. It's just unfortunate. Yellow and red I've hardly seen with how it is. And I think they need to do that more. Plenty of monks here, so useful in this situation, but they're going to go quite easily. Because I can see three converted war elephants. How many more are going to be converted? No more. But it could very well be that the war elephants here are in yellow, are very low on health. But we'll have to see. It's getting interesting. Cutting the game up into smaller sections I think works a lot better, especially if